Sierra is getting backlash for her new song and you wouldn't believe the reason why. Also, was Rihanna's Super Bowl performance better than Beyonce's? Well, Beyonce's former choreographer Frank Gatson seems to think so. To find out more, stay tuned and watch this video. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. Sierra previewed some new music on her social media page and I think the song is called For The Girls. However, a lot of people are not feeling this song and they're not feeling the message because they feel like Sierra is promoting women to be strong and independent and alone for the rest of their lives. Now these were some of the comments. Somebody said, me searching for the girls who ask for this song. Another person said, happily married women making single woman music is my favorite genre of irony. Another one said, I love Sierra, but it's obvious when she is trying to make a song for the sake of a hit. Talking about all the girls who don't need no man, like we are all grown and we want the same as you, sis. Another person said, LOL, the R&B and rap girls be getting in the studio promoting women to be single and alone. And after they're done, they go home to their man. Another one said, why do kept housewives with rich men always want to push independence as if they really live that stuff? Another said the audacity with a big ring on her finger. Nobody don't feel like being independent and paying all the bills by themselves. Another one said, you going home to your man, girl, F you. This other comment said this, this is embarrassing to watch a married woman sing a song like this. You do not care about the black women in your community. You could easily make love songs since you are in love with your husband, but you are purposefully choosing to make a doing that will encourage the women in our community to stay single because you know that's what sells and makes money. Please make it make sense. Bring back love songs and stop trying to rob your community. So as you can see, a lot of people had some strong feelings about this, especially black women. A lot of black women don't want to be alone for the rest of their lives. They don't want to financially carry themselves and everybody else on their back for the rest of their lives. They don't want to be strong. They don't want to always be independent. A lot of black women want the soft life too. They wanna to be taken care of and loved on and provided for and protected as well. I think the whole independent woman narrative is not as accepted as it was before. And there's nothing wrong with being an independent woman. I think all women need to be able to take care of themselves and stand on their own at some point in their lives, but they shouldn't have to accept the idea that being alone forever is okay because it's not really i mean most women don't really want to be alone and to be truthful this whole message has really worked against black women more than anything i can't speak for the other races of women but for black women in particular it hasn't been very helpful because a lot of black women are single a lot of them are single mothers and a lot of them have to financially carry the burden of taking care of their households so the whole strong independent woman narrative is not something that they're accepting right now, especially not from somebody like Sierra because Sierra is living the life that a lot of women want to live. I mean, she is married to a wealthy football player who absolutely adores her. So people are just not buying it. And to me, the song doesn't sound bad, but I think the message is what threw people off. I don't think it was Sierra's intention to push this message that women should be happy being independent and alone. I don't think that was the intent, but that's what people are getting from it. So I think Sierra is gonna have to really pay attention to the reception. If she's gonna be releasing music, she has to listen to what her audience is saying. I think her audience would prefer that she releases music that reflects where she is in her life right now instead of making music that sounds trendy. Like for example, her song Better Things was a cute record. I really liked that song. I wish it did better than it did, but I know Sierra is independent now, so it's gonna be a little harder for her to get her music out there, but 
I thought Better Things was a great record and it definitely falls in line with where Sierra is in her life right now. So I think she should continue on that wave and she should also continue to make fun, carefree dance music. That's what I think she should do because that's what really works for her right now. Now, before I move on to the next topic, I do wanna thank Sonic Bonnet for sponsoring this video. The Sonic Bonnet is not your everyday bonnet. It's a luxuriously silky bonnet with the power of Bluetooth technology. Built into its breathable elastic headband are a set of Bluetooth earphones, so you could start, pause, and play sounds from your phone, answer calls, and more, all with a tap of a button. The Sonic Bonnet is the perfect companion for your daily self-care and hair care routine. Once you tuck your hair into its comfortable, silky head cap, you'll be sold. Indulge yourself in this nightly beauty regimen and sleep soundly and sweetly with your favorite sleep sounds, music, podcasts, and audiobooks. And guess what? You'll never have to worry about losing your earbuds. The Sonic Bonnet earphones are USB chargeable with over a three nights charge and are easily removed and replaced for when you want to wash your bonnet. This self-care is for the mind, body, and hair. Treat yourself to a Sonic Bonnet today at sonicbonnet.com. And while you're at it, Grab a gift for a friend or a loved one. I honestly can't think of a cuter gift. Take advantage of the free US shipping on all orders over $50 now at sonnetbonnet.com. Once again, I wanna thank Sonnet Bonnet for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. Now let's get into this topic. Beyonce's former choreographer and creative director, Frank Gatson, got stung by the beehive after he claimed that Rihanna had the best Super Bowl performance ever. Now he said this in his caption, happy birthday, Rihanna. I have to say, you have done the best Super Bowl of anyone in my book. I always knew you were a true superstar the moment we met. So proud of you, enjoy your day. I can't wait to see where you go from here. Now, a lot of Beyonce's fans were actually confused and upset. And the reason why they were upset is because Frank Gatson used to work with Beyonce. Like I said, he was her former collaborator and he really did help sharpen Beyonce as a performer in the early stages of her solo career. Now, just to give a brief background on Frank Gatson, Frank has worked with people like Michael Jackson. He's worked with In Vogue, Tony Braxton, Brandy, the list goes on. So he's actually a veteran in the entertainment industry. And when he started working with Beyonce, I think he really helped Beyonce elevate as a performer. Now, Beyonce was always a great performer, but behind every great performer is a great creative team. And Frank was really one of those choreographers who helped her. And I think he did a lot of great work with Beyonce. You can look back on some of Beyonce's eras and know that he was a part of that. Now, Beyonce no longer works with Frank. They did part ways. And the Beehive feels like Frank might be a little bitter that he no longer gets to work with Beyonce. So they were dragging him for saying that Rihanna's Super Bowl performance was the best. This one person said, you reach it now. You know no one tops Queen Beyonce. Happy birthday, Riri. He said, Beyonce is not hurt. Beyonce and I would always disagree on what's good and what's not, but mostly we believe in pure magic. That's why I worked with her so long. I was always honest about my opinion. I will never say something just to please an artist. Artists need the truth and other opinions to be great. That's why Beyonce is on the great island alone. She can handle a grown man opinion. That's why I have so much respect for her. She does the work with no drama like the people on this post. Thank you so Sir, for your honest thoughts, by the way. Someone else said, wait, better than Beyonce? I think you're just saying that because you don't work for B anymore because we all know she was the best Super Bowl. He said, I love Beyonce. She is amazing. I've compared Beyonce to the second of MJ. I'm talking about the Super Bowl in this post. My opinion is never personal. That has nothing to do with it. I'm very honest about what is great no matter what I feel personally. That's childish. I am a man with my own opinion. Ask somebody. It is never personal, just facts. I make stars, got it? This other person said, that's a far reach. Beyonce had the best halftime performance since Michael Jackson and Prince. Frank said, that's your opinion. This is my opinion. Things change. I did the Beyonce Super Bowl. That's great also. Here is my rating. 
Janet Jackson, number two, Beyonce, number three, MJ, number four, Beyonce, Bruno, and Coldplay, number five. I have a right to my opinion when it comes to my rating system. Rihanna's Super Bowl was flawless. I don't want it to end. Up With People is number six. Got it? Another person said, the F, weren't you Beyonce's longtime choreographer? He said, I love Beyonce and she is amazing, especially all of her live tours, even the ones I didn't work on. I'm talking about the Super Bowl in this post. Got it? Also, Pink has great tours also. Pink would do an incredible Super Bowl. I do this. Check my resume. And Frank Ganson, he was going back and forth on the post with a lot of people. And he basically explained the reason why he liked Rihanna's performance so much. He said she moved very effortlessly, very smooth, and she moved confidently like a ballet dancer. And he liked her overall chill vibe. And he talked about how great the dancers were and how great the usage of the stage was and the creative direction. I mean, he pretty much praised all the things that I praised about the performance. I did do my own review and I said that I actually enjoyed Rihanna's Super Bowl performance and I was a little surprised to see so many people say they weren't impressed by it. And to me, I thought it was great. I thought Rihanna did her thing. Her energy was a bit low and that is because she is pregnant so she had to move carefully. But overall, I thought the performance was excellent. I especially loved the choreography. I mean, the choreography was fire to me. And also the clean visuals, the floating stages, and just the overall usage of the stage. I actually agree with Frank Gatson when he said that they utilized the stage so well. And it was a show that didn't solely highlight Rihanna. It highlighted everybody on that stage. And I think that's what made it so cool. And I think that's the reason why Frank Gatson appreciated it because he is a choreographer and a lot of times dancers don't really get the respect and the attention that they deserve. But I think Rihanna really gave her dancers a platform to shine. It kind of reminded me of what Missy Elliott did during her MTV Vanguard Award performance. She gave her dancers a platform to shine while still shining on her own. And her performance was one of the greatest award show moments that I've ever seen. So yeah, I understand what Frank Gasson is saying. I thought Rihanna's performance was great. I wouldn't say it was my favorite. Personally, I do put Beyonce, Bruno Mars, and Shakira and JLo above Rihanna, but that's just my personal opinion. And opinions are subjective. I don't think people should be lambasting somebody for having an opinion. Frank is entitled to his opinion. He thinks Rihanna had the best Super Bowl performance and that's his opinion. And I'm not mad at it, to be honest. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.